Last year, news of the Ferrari crash, insensitive comments on Facebook, and sex scandals got many Singaporeans hot and bothered. Yet, in a recent Gallup poll, Singapore was ranked the least emotional country in the world. While Singaporeans disagreed with how the survey was conducted, did they agree with the results? I'm actually not that surprised because, like, I don't... I think as compared to like certain cultures, we are not that warm or like expressive. So I would say it's not that um, surprising. I think Singapore is just that Singapore is just that kind of society which we are quite conservative with our feelings. So we can be emotional, but not that conservative with our emotions. I feel that um, many Singaporeans may be emotional, but either they are not willing to admit it or not aware of it themselves. I think it varies. Some people can be very happy and some people can be very sad. So I think that we shouldn't generalize that as a, as a society that we are very, you know, not emotional. Yeah. But I think you could look at emotion, for example, and look at people in a particular context. For example, if you went out on New Year's Eve, I'm sure you would see lots of people displaying lots of positive emotions. Right. Similarly, if you were to go to a funeral, you see lots of people expressing negative emotions. Right. But you can't ask them that. It's a very different thing to say on a day-to-day -day basis. Are you feeling positive or negative? So it's a little bit of a different question. It's not saying Singaporeans don't feel any emotions. It's just saying that when asked, they will tell you that on a day-to-day -day basis, they feel relatively less emotions than people from other countries. And I do think that that is a real finding that has some interesting value and could be interpreted in a number of ways. However, Dr. Dettenberg feels that some of the questions asked in the poll were not relevant in measuring emotionality. So in surveys like this, they are measuring something. They're trying to measure emotion or emotionality. And they've got a number of measures in there. Did you feel angry? Did you feel pain? Did you feel enjoyment? Those are pretty good. They also ask things uh, which I think are a little strange, like did you get your rest? Um, that would certainly contribute to a sense of well-being, but I don't know if that's emotionality. Right. Uh, they also asked a, an interesting question, uh, did you feel that you were treated with respect all day yesterday? Yeah. Uh, again, it's an interesting thing to ask, but I'm not sure how that fits in with emotionality, per se. So should we believe polls, and how do we decide which polls are an accurate reflection of the truth? Find out in the next clip.